Today I'm going to be doing my first ever and maybe my last book haul. So if you watch my channel, you know that I get the majority of my books from the library. I don't usually buy books, but my birthday was recently and I have amazing family and friends who gave me books this year that I wanted to share with you and then a couple of the books I actually bought for myself. So without further ado, let's just get started with all of the books that I got for my birthday. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to just go person by person. So first I want to start off with one of my closest friends who I always talk about reading with and we always do reading sprints and everything together and she was so sweet to send me some books for my birthday. So last year I read Maybe You Should Talk to Someone by Lori Gottlieb. I got the book from the library and I absolutely loved it. It made it to be one of the top books that I read last year. And she so graciously sent me the book in the mail uh, for my birthday, which was so sweet. So she got Maybe You Should Talk to Someone by Lori Gottlieb. Now I actually have the hardback edition of it because this is definitely a book that I would want to reread in the future just because I love Lori Gottlieb so much. And if you don't know what this is, this is basically about uh, Lori Gottlieb, who is a therapist, and she goes through this like, very terrible breakup. So she talks a lot about her experience going to a therapist herself. And also you hear the stories of uh, five of her patients. I really like how this book was kind of written like a memoir where she really told her own story, but then you also got to hear the story of other people and also just kind of learn more about what it means to be a therapist. And not only that, but also what does it mean for a therapist to go to therapy? And I absolutely love this book. I got really, really connected with all of the characters and I'm so excited to finally have this on my shelf. So the next book that my friend sent me was The X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. So um, she actually sent this to me because we thought about buddy reading it together. And the reason why this book stood out to me was because it is based in Seattle and the author is Jewish and I believe the main character is too, which I think is really cool. And what I think this book is about is about this girl named Shay who works at a Seattle public radio station and this guy named uh, Dominic uh, starts working there and they start doing this podcast or radio show where they pretend to be exes and I believe it is a what is it called like a hate to lovers romance <laughs> like they despise each other then of course they're probably going to fall in love so I'm just really curious to read this book because I don't read a lot of books set in Seattle and if you don't know that's where I am from so I think this will be really fun and hopefully it is a cute romance and if you've read this one let me know because I know this one is kind of going around booktube a little bit but I am definitely excited to buddy read this and give it a try. And lastly, my amazing friend sent me Later by Stephen King, which is his latest novel that just recently came out. Whenever a new book comes out, it always takes my library like a million years for me to actually get it. So I'm really happy that I got my own copy of it so I can read it whenever I want. So this is obviously a Stephen King novel. I don't believe it's horror. I believe it's more of a crime fiction novel. And the back, the synopsis is actually very vague because it's about this son who or this teenager who is the son of a single mother and it says he has like this special ability that he can see and learn what no one else can learn which is very vague so i don't really know what that means and then it says an nypd detective draws him into the pursuit of a killer who has threatened to strike from beyond the grave so it seems like a pretty quick read it's not that long and the font is pretty big but um, I'm pretty excited to read one of Stephen King's newer works and I'll let you guys know what I think about it when I finally give it a try. So next I want to move on to another friend of mine who also gifted me three books and which was so sweet and he gave me uh, The Pleasure of Finding Things Out, The Best Short Works of Richard P. Feynman, who that is the author of this book. and. I don't really know what this book is, but I know it is about science, which is awesome because I really love science. And it's just a collection of like, like essays, I believe, or things that he's written that they just all put together. So the author is or was a professor of theoretical physics at the California Institute of Technology. He has a Nobel Prize for his work on development of quantum field theory. And yeah, he's just very well known in the physics world. So I think that's really interesting because 
nonfiction has been something that I've been really, really getting into and I love science and all that kind of stuff. And it seems like he talks about a lot of different interesting topics. It, it says, from his ruminations on integrity to his thoughts on our unscientific age, this book will captivate anyone interested in the world of ideas. So I'm, I'm pretty interested to kind of see what this is all about. And yeah, I will let you know what I think. And also look how pretty this, the spine is, the color, I love that. Oh, I forgot to mention, so my friend, he inscribed all of the books that he gave me. So for this book, he wrote, Blessed are the curious, for they shall inherit the earth. <laughs> I was like, that's so cute. I love that. So if you can't tell the friend who's been gifting me these books, he's probably one of the smartest people that I know. And he's actually from Egypt. And when I was little, I used to be obsessed with um, ancient Egypt. And so he gifted me this book, which is called The Jacobian Building by Allah al-Aswani. And he said that this book actually represents modern Egypt really well. And on the back it says, this controversial best-selling novel in the Arab world reveals the political corruption, sexual repression, religious extremism, and modern hopes of Egypt today. So this is a work of fiction. And I just think it sounds so interesting. Middle Eastern literature is something that I have read a little bit of, but I do want to read more of it just because I find it really interesting to learn about the cult different cultures. Um, and in this book, he wrote A Glimpse into Modern Egypt. So I'm, yeah, I'm definitely very excited to give this one a try. So the next book he gifted me, I actually started this book and I DNF'd it and I have been considering um, listening to it on audio. This is a very famous book, so let me know if you've read it and if the audiobook is any good. But it is American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis, and all I know is it's about this um, guy who lives in New York City and he works on Wall Street or in, you know, financial district, and he is a serial killer. It's kind of all I know about it. I just, I, the, when I was reading it, it was kind of throwing me off. Like the language is really particular. And I think the author was doing a really good job of getting into the mind of this person, but like, it was just very specific type of writing that just like wasn't gelling with me, but I do really appreciate the gift. And on the inside, he inscribed this like incredibly long inscription, but it's actually a quote from the book, which is towards the end where it's like really getting into the mind of the killer and in the main character. So I'm glad to have my own copy of this and it's just kind of special that they're, all these books are just personal to me and they have an inscription that's just for me and they're from people that I really care about. So I actually have a little story about this book. So I put this on hold at the library forever ago, like at the end of 2020, <laughs> back in the day. And um, the person right before me, so I was like the number one hold and then the person that had the book just decided to never return it. And I went to the library and I was like, hey, like no one's returning this book, what do I do? And they were like, nothing, like we can't do anything. So I was like, you know what, screw it. It's been like four months that this book is overdue. I'm just gonna buy my own copy. So I call my boyfriend and tell him, I was like, I just did it, I bought my own copy. And he was like, and I was like, oh no, did you buy that for me for my birthday? And he was like, yeah. And so I like quickly canceled the book and he got me this book that I've been wanting to read since forever, like for so long. And that is, I Love You, Nice to Meet You by Lori Gottlieb and Kevin Blyer. So obviously this is the same author as the first book that I mentioned in this video. I decided that I was gonna read every Lori Gottlieb out there. So I've read three of her books and she has four and this is the fourth one that I've been wanting to read and I believe this is just like a dating book and I know it's old and I read a lot of dating books but I just love her writing and I've been like kind of reading her books out of order so it's kind of interesting to see like you know her as a child her as an adult and then this is her I think like before she started her therapy practice but it just is a guy and a girl's perspective on dating and I believe they yeah, switch back and forth between he said, she said. I mean, this book came out a while ago. You can tell it says like um, voicemail message analysis, which, you know, I don't think anyone really leaves voicemail messages with dating anymore, but maybe, maybe you do. But I'm just like really excited to read this book because um, 
I just love Lori Gottlieb so, so much. And I'm kind of sad because this is like my last book that I have to read um, until she comes out with another one. But yeah, it, it has been like five or six months of waiting around for it. And now I finally have it in my hands. So the next couple of books that I'm going to mention are actually books I bought for myself for my birthday, mainly because either they were not available at my library or my library had literally five copies and there was like a hundred holes and I didn't want to wait my whole life in order to read them. So this book I always caught my eye whenever I saw it in a bookstore, but I never picked it up and then because it was just like kind of hefty, you know? And like sometimes hefty books like really freak me out. And then it ended up being like the book club pick for like the late night book club. And I was like, I'm just gonna try it, give it a whirl. And that is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ru Ruiz Zafron, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So I opened this book today, like I literally just got it. And I was so nervous that I was gonna get another cover because this is the cover that I really like. I just really think it's interesting like this guy kind of like looks like he's walking into a story which I think is really cool um and I was really worried that I was gonna get another cover because I bought it used so I wasn't really sure but I got the cover that I wanted and it is a flopper which is amazing and this book is set in Barcelona in 1945 I believe the owner is from the owner <laughs> the author is from Spain and it is about this guy who I believe gets like really into this author and then all of a sudden he wants to like read more books from this author and he figures out that apparently like someone's destroying all of the all of this author's books and he may have like one of the last copies and it says that you know he's now he's like trying to investigate this and he is looking into one of Barcelona's darkest secrets an epic story of murder madness and doomed love so this book is kind of hefty. It's not 500 pages. It's a little bit less, so I think I can deal with it. But um, this is actually probably the next book that I'm going to read, and I hope that I like it. Um, I know this book is like insanely popular, so please let me know if you've given this one a try. And not only am I glad that the author is from Spain, but I've also been kind of interested in reading more translated fiction. So there may be other books that I mentioned today that were translated. I could be wrong, but this book I know is translated from Spanish, which I think is really cool. Again, like I want to be reading books from different cultures and um, that were written in different languages originally. And so I, I don't know, I think this book sounds really cool. I'm finally actually going to give it a try. So this next book, this is kind of random, but I was researching <laughs> Jill DePaulo's like favorite books and she mentioned Acts of Faith by um, Eric Siegel who wrote Love Story and I absolutely loved Love Story. Like it was, yeah, one of my favorite books that I've read so far this year. And instead of getting Acts of Faith, which looked like a really great book, I decided to get um, Doctors by Eric Siegel. And then if I love this book, then I'm going to move on to Acts of Faith. But I loved Love Story. It was such a short and sweet romance novel set in the 60s at Harvard. This book is a little heftier, but may I just add the 1990s mass market paperback is like the best gift that I could possibly get to be honest and it's just so simple but so cute at the same time this book actually sounds really interesting because it doesn't actually sound like just a traditional romance book and I don't even know if romance is at the core of it but it basically follows um people as I go through medical school it's why it's called doctor so uh, I've heard that a lot of people or doctors or people going through medical, medical school have read this book and have really loved it. And it says, this novel reveals the making of doctors, what makes them tick, scheme, hurt, and love. So it talks about like medical school, residency, internships, and all the triumphs that go into what it takes to become a doctor. And then it says at the heart of the novel is the relationship between Barney and Laura, who were childhood friends and now they are separately finding unsettling celebrity and unsatisfying love until their friendship ripens into passion yet even their devotion to each other even their medical gifts may not be enough to save the one life they treasure above all others so i don't know like what type of book this is because when i was looking online i swear it's also said that it was like a thriller so it's like 
romance and thriller but it's also like set at harvard and like an educational setting which just sounds so interesting to me and it's definitely yeah <laughs> she is hefty she's like a little bit short of 700 pages and this print is pretty small but i yeah i really liked eric siegel's writing i think that well i've heard that his book love story which is what what he's most known for his like most famous work was really good but they said that a lot of people say that it's on his best they say that they like doctors um there's also acts of faith the class he has like a lot of other books and i'm just really curious to see what else he comes out with okay not what else he comes out with because he's no longer with us but all the books that he's put out in the past and i'm just going to start with this one and go from there hopefully he becomes one of my new favorite authors so that is the haul that will probably be the one of the last hauls you see on my channel because I'm still a library person, I promise. These books are gonna, I'll try to like make a bookshelf for them at some point. I'll actually have a background that has books on it because I promise I do own a couple of books, but that was my book haul. I know that was kind of like a wide variety of books, which is kind of fun, nonfiction, fiction, all of it. Let me know if you've heard of any of those books or if you've read any of them. I told you I was going to start with The Shadow of the Wind if you recommend me uh, start reading like another one of those books that you've heard of. Just let me know in the comments down below. But thank you so much for getting all the way until the end of this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one.